Uh, what's up, everybody? This is Titan. This is Tyson. What's up? Oh, uh, my son, continuing making the aerospace tutorials on the NLX 2500. That's right, doing some multi axis surfacing. Oh, uh, I thought, you know, let's just put the camera, just a quick one, and just show a quick look at the tool, right? The Harvey 3 from Canon Metal, the chuck, the relationship. It's just like caught. Boom, boom, boom. So good. It's about to get Hey, before we get started, I just wanna invite you to hit that subscribe button. If you love what we're doing, hit the like button, put the comments, because we're bringing the heat when it comes to education and overall manufacturing entertainment. Boom! Invading your office. Make yourself at home here. Oh, man, look at that, look at that. Oh. So what software is this? This is a Fusion 360. Fusion 360. We're also using Power Mill, just so everybody knows. So there's like a nice variety there, you know, when actually doing the complicated jobs, all right? So Fusion is making it happen. Oh, what is this? Is this the tool? Yep, that's a Harvey 3 ball mill. It's a KM50 Hydroforce holder. So then the KM50 is the attachment, right? Mm -hmm. So that kind of like the Capto, but this is a ball lock and it's just like super rigid and if it crashes, which it never, never happens, will. but uh, it doesn't damage your whole turret and just destroy everything, right? So absolutely love this tooling. So let me ask you a couple questions. So the machining looks super clean and your multi-axis surface and you're almost at the end of your program for making the tutorials for Titans of CNC Academy, right? Yeah. But you're taking a bigger step over. So what exactly are you doing here? So we roughed it all out on the previous stop with the just use the six flute end mill. Okay. Um, now we're coming back and I'm doing a semi-finished pass with a ball mill okay. leaving. So on the first end mill, we left 10 thou per wall. Okay. This end mill is leaving 4 thou per wall. And then we're gonna do one final finish pass at the correct depth to make everything nice Perfect. and Perfect. So like the, the end mill, left ten thousands but it had some decent sized steps yeah right it, it the steps were big it couldn't get into these curves exactly here. so it left a bunch of big steps so then you came back with a ball mill to basically surface everything mm -hmm. right and then what is that about twenty five thousand step over yeah, something like that 25, okay and then you left four thousands per wall yeah. and then you need to come back and just kiss it oh so good what's the what's the surface foot 200 to sit 200 yep three thousand per tooth Three thou? Yep. Awesome. That's an aggressive for one of these <laughs> tools right here that's actually locked into a turret, right? Mm -hmm. Oh man, awesome. And just to show everybody, like this part right here is just legit, right? So Tice, you're actually programming the entire part. Yep. And you're documenting speeds and feeds, step overs, everything. I have everything, so anyone can make this. Exactly. Inconel 625. All day. All day. <laughs> so, and we're going to do 718. We're going to do A286. Mm -hmm. Hasseloy. Monel. We're just gonna, everything complicated. We're going to basically just like open the doors, let the secrets out of the box so that people can actually compete and make a good living and get mm -hmm. paid. Right? Make all these aerospace parts. Show our secrets. <laughs> Show our secrets. It's good. That's what it's about. It's about serving this industry and lifting it up. If we close it in a box, then nobody's going to see it. And therefore, they're going to think we can't compete here. So let's open up the doors and get our kids excited about it and actually take our machinists and actually teach them this trade in a way that they can do high level stuff and get paid good money. That's right. right. Boom. Boom. Thank you so much. We're out.